Hello all, and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say your customary blessing. Blessed art thou, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Lord, our God, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths, and the mouths of all your people, Israel, may we and our offspring, and the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your for Study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Lord, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you... Lord our God, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations, gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the Torah. May the Lord bless you and keep watch over you. May the Lord make his presence to enlighten you and be kind to you. May the Lord bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today is day two, and this one will be, Ezekiel 37, 15-28. The word of Yahweh came to me. Son of man, take a stick and write it. Write on it. For Judah and the people of Israel associated with him, then take another stick and write on it. For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel associated with him, and join them one to another into one stick, that they may become one in your hand. And when the people say to you, Will you not tell us what you mean by these? Say to them, Thus says the Lord Elohim, Behold, I am about to take the stick of Joseph that is in the hand of Ephraim and the tribes of Israel associated with him and will join with the sticks of Judah and make them one stick that they may be one in my hand. When the, when the sticks on which you write are in your hand before your eyes then say to them, Thus says the Lord Elohim, Behold! I will take the people of Israel from the nations among which they have gone, and will gather them from all around, and bring bring them to their own land. And I will make them one nation in, in the land, and one mount, and on the mountains of Israel. And as one king shall be king over them, and they shall be no longer two nations, and no longer divided into two kingdoms. They shall not defile themselves any more with their idols and their detestable things, or with any of their transgressions. But I will save them all the backslidings in which they have sinned, and will cleanse them. And they shall be my people, and I will be their Elohim. My servant David shall be king over them, and they shall all have one shepherd. They shall walk in my rules. And be careful to obey my statutes. They shall dwell in the land that I give to my servant Jacob, when you, where your fathers lived. They and their children and their children's children shall dwell there. And David, my servant, shall be their prince forever. I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will set them in their land, and multiply them, and set my sanctuary in their midst forevermore. My dwelling place shall be with them, and I will be their Elohim. And they shall be my people. Then the nations will know that I am Yahweh, who sacrifices... Yahweh, who sanctifies Israel, when my sanctuary is in their midst forevermore. Sorry about that. Um, I had some shots because I decided to put my finger into a saw. Yeah. Okay. I didn't want to put it in there, but it just happened to go in there. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, O Lord, giver of the Torah. Yeah. <laughs>